Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to pull an image into your web page using the IMG image element. It's the IMG element. Uh, it's very similar to the anchor element, which is why I'm doing it right now. Uh, the anchor element uses an, an href modifier within the opening tag, right? Uh, in order to sh describe the address of the page we'd like to jump to, right? So we're going away from the current page to another page using the anchor. The image works in reverse. Uh, it's, it's not going to another page. It's, go it's going to grab an image from another location and bring it to the page, All right? The addressing is similar. You'll see it's very, it's very similar. So let's, um, let's jump right to it. So I started off right here. We'll we'll jump over to Putty in a second and do it, but it might be easier to see here. Let me see if I can make it a little bigger for you. That might be bigger, I'm not sure. This is the element we're gonna add. So I've gone on to my homepage, my, my index.html, and uh, after the, the anchors that I put in the last video that I entered there, uh, this is all there is to the to the element, to the image element. So you can see the modifier SRC. That's kind of equivalent to the, it's not equivalent, but it does the same kind of thing. It operates in the same way as the href modifier. And then there's an equal, just like with the href, and then um, an address that's in quotes. And then you close the opening tag, okay? So it's, it's very similar. So this is the address to which we want to go, right? Sys 103, all of that. And that's in, there's a quote right there and a quote right there. So that address is contained in quotes following an equal sign as the value that we want to apply to the href in the anchor element. In the image, it's all the same terminology. Uh, we're just using SRC instead of href because they, they go the opposite way, right? Href is causing us to jump away from the current page SRC brings us to the current page, something that's away to the cur cur uh, current page. So what we need, and then you close the element right there, right? So once the image is in, the image is described in that this address, that's really the end of it, right? There, we don't need any clickable text or, or anything like that. So there's no, there's no portion here in the middle like this, content. There's no content portion. The content is, is at the end of this address that we're going to type in. So we don't need that. Therefore, we don't really need a closing uh, tag either, right? So this element is the first example. We haven't seen that many elements, but it's one of the few examples of an element that does not have a closing tag or a content. So it's just the opening tag with the source modifier and the address of the image inside the quotes. Okay, so in order to get an image, well, we could have an image right here in our Sys101 or Sys103 um, file system in, in public underscore HTML, but we don't currently have a way we don't currently have a way to Uh, we don't let me switch here. We don't currently have a knowable way uh, to to move files onto Copeland from our local machine. Uh, otherwise, it is possible. We just don't know how to do it yet. We haven't covered anything like that in this class. Um, we could take a a, a picture of anything with our phone, um, transfer it to. Uh, live on Copeland and then use that Copeland addressing just like in href to access and pull in that image wherever we've stored it on our file system into the web page. So since we don't know how to do that right now and we don't feel like spending the time or I don't trying to figure out how to do that, um, I think we'll just grab one from another server somewhere. So we'll do, let's say an image, uh, 
search uh, on Google and just find some image that you that you want to include on your on your page here that you want to pull it. So I'll show you an example of how I have done it. I did a search and I found some images here. And so the when you right click on images, we want to find in Windows and probably in Mac too and on the Chromebook. Well, I'm using Chrome, so it should work the same on, on uh, Google Chrome. So it should work the same on everything that everyone who's using Chrome. Uh, if it's Safari or Firefox, it's going to still be similar. I don't know that. Let me see if you can see that context menu. I doubt it. When I do a right click here, you see my mouse. Yeah, you can't see the context. So uh, what I what I'm gonna what I want is copy image address. I'm gonna click that because I want to make sure that's the correct. You know, I'm saying the correct thing. Copy image address. Yes, that's what I want. Now I do not want. There's two options. The other one reads the one. The other one we're concerned with here. Copy link address or yeah, copy link address. We do not want copy link address. We want the image, right? So we want to copy the image address. So we copy that address. And it's on my clipboard now. So what I'm going to do is paste it right in between those quotes. Now, when I paste this, that, that image address is going to be a very long address. So I'm not going to see the other end of this anymore. It's going to be way off in the side of my page. Uh, who knows where it's going to be? I'm probably going to have to clean something up after I do this a little bit. But I, I don't want to, so I'm, I'm saying what you, sh you should do the open and close quote and close the IMG element before you paste this address because it's this is going to go way over. So let's see, I'll show you, you'll see. see it's way over at the end now. <laughs> so, I, and I don't want to, let me see if I go this way and get back to the beginning of this. All right. So we see my, my uh, address is in there. Source address is in there right now, and I don't have to go searching for the end of it, which is way, way, way over to the to the right hand side, you know, off the end. It's way over on my screen. So there we have that. I'm going to save this. I'll do it on Putty as well in a second. Um, and then we're going to go back to the browser in a moment here. When I I've got so many screens open now, I can't keep track. Here we go. Here we go. Browser. All right. Back to the browser. Do my home page. It's my local home page that I'm looking at at the moment. So I think it's this one. My, no, it's this one. There's my local home page. We'll look real quick and I'll verify. No, that's not my local home page. Okay, so mine's, my local homepage is already already has it on there. I'll do a refresh. Oh, there we go. All right, so that's that's correct. That's what I meant to do. Sorry, I had another one for a test run that was still up there. So now we see there's my header. There are my two links here. There's my image here. That all corresponds with uh, what we see in my HTML file, which is, so there's my header, right? First one, there's my two links. Now they're on separate lines, but you notice that the browser's not doing a carriage return, right? There should be a carriage return of some sort here. I guess we could go ahead and do that because it's a simple tag. So let's just throw that in. I'm opening that up a little bit. So we'd like to have a line break right here, right? A carriage return. So the, this link is on top of this link. First one's on top of the other instead of being beside one another. So I'll fix that with a 
BR. So it'll give me a carriage return from that BR that I just put in there. Can you see it? Yeah, in case you can't see it, let's do this real quick. I don't know if that helps or not. So let's save that again. And I'll do another refresh. We'll come back to the browser. Pull it over here. And do a refresh. Um, not sure what happened to it. Is it all the way at the bottom of the page now? It is. So I'm going to have to toy with this. And it's not really what I wanted to talk about today or in this video. We can do it next. I'm not sure why that happened like that. But we'll look into whatever. You can see that it's not beside each other anymore. So why it went all the way to the bottom. A um, little unsure. It should have been this second. But don't worry about that. This video is not about BR. So let me get this out of the way. And we'll jump over to Putty here real quick. All right. And so there are my two links. You see one there and one there. On my index, you see up here, this is my index. And this is on Copeland, right? We've got Putty open already, but uh, I guess you can see it way up here. Maybe. If you can see that in the upper left. Well, you know it is. This is definitely putty. All right, I want to put this image above body, so I'm just going to hit enter right here, and I'll scroll on over so I can get it in line with the way things are, and we'll just enter. All right. I am, whoop. Oops, I can't type very well. I am G S R C. Equals, quote, quote, right? And close it, and then back over right there. It's on my clipboard still, that address. And I can paste into putty. Which I'll paste into putty. It'll go, putty will send it on into um, Pico, which will <laughs> put it in my file. So to save it there, uh, I'll do, all, with my mouse, I'll click the right-hand button. I want my cursor right where it is. You see, it's gonna it's gonna start. It's gonna put things. Even if I type a character here, F, it'll go before my cursor, right? My blinking cursor. Watch. See. So I want to put it right there. So when I do a right click, well, that wasn't right. Okay, so we will just do that again. Put it right there. Line it up. Do a right click. And there it is. Now it's going across several lines of here, and it is ugly. Like this. I don't really want to. See how long it is? I don't really want to leave it like that because it just it makes a, it's a mess. So I just came in front, right on the S, and I'm going to do a backspace. Bring it up. So now it's just, it runs way far to the right like the other one did. Do a control O, get this on disk. We'll go back to the browser. Um, and there's, that's my local. This is UD right here, okay. So let's see now. Uh, should be. Uh, I want to prove to you that it is. I'm looking at Putty, though. I mean, I'm looking at Copeland. So let's do a increase the size of this. I believe this you can see. And you'll see up in my URL. You can see that it is udel.edu tilde wboyer index.html. All right. So that's that. And let's refresh. There we go. Image is in. I want to show. I want to see what we can. <laughs> want to see what happens with uh, here, buddy. What if we come up here and do just that, just for a fun last thing on this video? I'm trying to keep this one short. So put a B 
DR there. I just want to see if I don't know why it would be different because I'm using the same browser and it's the browser that's reading the code. So, but let's try it. Uh, refresh this. As expected. Now, why did the other one not do it the way I expected? I, I don't know, but that's what I would expect to see happen. So now my one in there's a line break right here, right? You can't see it. We go down. My links still work. Okay. So that is all there is to bringing in an image. You use any image you want. Um, but you just bring one in and put it on your index page from from some Google search. That will do it for this one.